Today I'm going to show you how to create this outline effect. First thing is opening After Effects. I'm just going to drag my green screen inside my project here in project. So I'm just going to drag and drop it. And I'm going to make a new comp by right clicking on my clip. Go in Effects and Presets and right key. So you're looking for something to key the green out or the blue out depending on what you used. And to do this effect, you really have to have a plain background. So whatever the color, as long as you can key it, then it's going to work. So I'm going to use key light. I dragged and dropped it on my clip so it goes in the effect control. I'm going to use a little thing for the screen color and just remove it. So maybe it looks like it's good right now. So I'm just going to click on this RGB here, put it to alpha and see if there's still some noise around. And there is. So I'm going to screen matte and I'll clip a little bit my black and my white. And now you see that it's a lot cleaner. And if there's some part that you can't really remove all the noise, you can always just cut it afterwards with the pen tool. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So now if I put it back to RGB, now you should have only your model. So I'm just going to look if her ends goes in the corner. It doesn't really go there, so I guess we could just cut it. Real quick, I'm just going to take the pen tool and I'll make a mask and roughly remove just the corners because that was the only spot where there was a little bit of noise. I'll go back to my selection tool. If I were to go back in the alpha section, like you see, there's no more noise in the corner. So I'm going to go back to RGB. So to do this effect, uh, it's very simple. First, you're going to duplicate the clip. So I'm just going to control D. So now I have twice the same clip and I would like to first add a tint. So I'm going to go back in the effects and preset and add a tint, I guess this. I'm going to make sure that I put it on the one under because the top one, I want her to remain her natural color. So now you have the key light first, then the tint. So you can pick any color you want. I'm going to go with a orange like I did for the clip, something flashy. And you already kind of see it in the background. To really see it, you're going to have to add a simple choker. So first, make sure you have twice the same color here and that's 100% if you want it to be all the same color. Now you have to add a simple choker. Again, I'll just put it on this layer here. You make sure it's at final output and you can just adjust the minus here and the higher the number is in the minus category, then the bigger the outline will be. So if I put it like this then it's a bigger line. I think that's a fair amount of line just to start and it shouldn't be too rough. I think I could just put it at full quality. So see, it's not super rough. If you think it's too rough, you can always just blur it a little bit. Again on this one, maybe just three, just so that it's a little bit smoother because you will see all the different uh, transitions. So I think it's, it's pretty smooth now that we added just three on the blur. So now the rest is even more simpler, uh, you just take the one that you have the effect on and you duplicate it, Control D. So now you go on the layer under and everything is already set there. The only thing you can do is maybe change the color to something else. Uh, I chose a flashy blue like that, I think. So you make sure you have twice the same color. And then here you just increase the amount in the negative until you reach like a size you like. And if you reach the maximum amount, you can always just control D and now it's double the size. So maybe you don't want it to be double so you can make it a tiny bit less. So you could have like a little bit more every time you make a new layers. So now the next layer, you can just again, duplicate this one then you could go back to the other colors. Like you can just go here on your second layer, copy this one, control C on the PC, and you could just remove this one, place it here, 
and you could duplicate your simple choker. So you can just duplicate it a bunch of times instead of always readjusting the number. And like already you can kind of see where I'm going. It's just going to follow the figure. So I'm gonna make the next one. Control D again. I could pick blue again. You could also just pick it like that instead of copying it. It's fairly, fairly quick and that's already done. Now I'm going to duplicate again. I'll just pick the orange. And I think I wanna make this orange layer pretty big. So I'm going to control D and duplicate this one a little bit bigger. I think it's a pretty funky effect. You can have fun and add some different colors in it. So for this one, I think instead of the tint, I think I'm going to add a ramp. So we can have like a gradient. So you see here I put one that's just black and white, so it gives a little bit more intensity, but you could also just pick like a one of those colors. So now I have white at the bottom and orangey at the top, or I could put the same blue at the top. Too white. So you could play with the different orientation and add more movement by adding that. And I'll just add it a little bit more again because like we only have that to cover. So if you scroll through your video just to make sure that you didn't forget any part in the corners. And I think we covered it. So we ended up with 20 layers. And I think I really like the fact that it starts thin and then it gets a little bit larger at the end. It's really groovy. So that's a very simple effect that's super groovy, very psychedelic. It's free inside After Effects, so you don't need any plugin. It's not complicated at all. If you liked the video, make sure to like it and subscribe. And let me know in the comment section what you would like to see next. Have a nice day.